Hi everyone, and welcome back to some more Civilization IV Cave Mental Cosmos. So, the usual reminder, if you missed any of the previous episodes, the link to the playlist will be in the video description and in the pinned comment. I skipped ahead a little bit, because it was basically the same exact loop going on, just going around the island and hunting, and I started a total of four cities here, we have five cities total now, including our capital. And I'll probably get one more right here. There's going to be a little bit of overlap. If I start a city right here, we'll have a tile overlapping right here with Hoven Weep. And we'll also have two tiles overlapping with this city. But I think it's still worth doing. We have a bunch of resources right here, so that's why I want to do it. But that's going to be the last city. We are also about to exit the prehistoric era. And then hopefully we can find some other land masses. Yeah, I'm actually last right now, which is a little bit concerning. I feel like there's not much I could have done about that when I'm on an island. But yeah. This is where we're at right now. Right, I'm just going to queue up a bunch of things in these cities. Mostly a mix of like production, food and gold. Yeah, as long as uh, they can get multiple buildings in one turn or something like that. Because some cities can do that, like my capital. And our goal right now is to find the other land masses. I did get a raft and I tried to explore a little bit, but it has to stick to the coast and some of it is blocked by whale sharks, for example. And I definitely cannot kill them with a raft. I might try to get one on this side, on the east side. I also automated some of my hunters because there's an option here to automate the hunt. So that's basically what I did. Yeah, there's one animal over here. I don't think this dude is automated. Yeah, he will just go there on his own and kill it. So that we don't have to worry about it too much. Yeah, I want to see other AI scores. Because the fact I'm last doesn't really tell me much. I want to know by how much. If it's only like a little bit, then it's not really a big deal. But I guess we'll find out. Okay. Yeah, we can get workboats now. Uh, this is a lot of buildings. I don't want science for sure. Yeah, this is a great building right there. Anything that gives like science, production. Yeah, a little bit of gold because we're currently neutral. I was losing gold for a little bit. But that's because I started a bunch of cities and they didn't really have any buildings yet. We'll get a green merchant pretty soon, and that's interesting. Okay, there we go. We have entered the ancient era. Nice. Would you there we go. Beer or complete and utter contentment? So, kind of that unlocks a settler. Okay. And a worker. Alright, good to know. And a bunch of things. Improvements. Yeah, this unlocks a lot of the improvements. You know, like pasture. I'm probably going to need workers. And now we can research some more familiar sounding technologies. But there are still a few things I might want, like elephant domestication. Because we don't have elephants. Let's take a look at the big picture here. Because I suppose it's not that important compared to something like agriculture, for example. That's probably way, way more important. So when can we get some better ships? Probably from sailing. Yeah, we should probably rush sailing as quickly as we possibly can. That's what I'm going to do, because I need to get out of this island. So that's going to be our priority, getting the heck out of this island. And meeting some other AIs, as well as colonizing the other land masses. I still have my raft, but it can't really do much. 
Yeah, there's the animal we just captured with the automated tracker. So it's much more convenient when you just automate them. It's not always a good idea if you are on a massive Pangea, I guess. But on an island like this, it's definitely way more convenient. And then again, I haven't tried doing it on like a huge Pangea. I don't know if they would stick closer to your cities or like go way out. Because even if you capture an animal, you can, you have to get it back to your city safely. Okay. I don't think I need a workbot in this one. Do I? Uh, no. Right, well, let's just continue with the buildings then. We are making gold now. So let's mostly prioritize food and the production. I think happiness in here is fine as well. Okay, well, this is fine right now. Add that. And we want some workers, obviously. Subdue the duck. Okay, okay, right. I can't get these things. That's fine. I could send it to another city, but just add it for a little bit of culture and science. That's fine. We'll finish our production and then get a worker or two. I'm definitely going to need those. Now that we are in ancient era, obviously. Yeah, this is our capital. It probably needs a worker as well. And I still want one settler. All right, hawk. Whale shark. There are a lot of sharks around here. Not sure how I feel about that. Was there strength? I think it's pretty high. I know my raft had absolutely no chance against them. Like actual zero chance. Okay, so we got a worker, that's fine. I still want one more city. So I guess we can grab that settler. Yeah, the capital will get it faster than any other city. And we'll get at least one worker in each other city, I suppose. Right, field worker, forest worker. Uh, both are useful around here, I guess. Forest worker is fine. We can improve this. So I assume the worker will not get consumed. As opposed to gatherer. Your improvement may upgrade. Okay. Yeah, hunting camp. Wait, just like that. I thought you need a worker to do that. Interesting. Well then, okay, I didn't know it will just upgrade on its own like that. I thought you need a worker to do that. But apparently not. Apparently not. Okay, let's turn on the yields for a second. Yeah, that tile is kind of really, really bad. And obviously we're not working it. This one would be slightly more useful to improve, right here. What can we do here, though? Okay, plus three production, plus one gold. A small chance of discovering a resource. I guess it's worth improving it, if only because it gives us a small chance of discovering something. The jungle camp actually looks pretty good. Plus four food, plus one production, plus one gold. That's a significant improvement. Okay, yeah, let's grab that. That's a big improvement to that tile. Massive. It actually makes it useful, as opposed to basically useless with one hammer. Oh, There's agriculture, now we can build a farm. Earthworm gatherer. Alright then. Carry on. Yeah, that's a lot of buildings enabled. Just various varieties of farms. Small holding. Okay, uh, let's take a look, just need to find it on this long as list. Uh, we can get Divine Cult over here, but I'm not actually convinced this is better than what I have right now, which is why I didn't get it. Sometimes it's kind of hard to tell because of how big these lists are, but obviously I have no religion at the moment. So I'm not entirely sure if that would be useful. Where's that policy we just got? Somewhere down here. Yeah, right here, small holding. Well, yep, I guess we'll grab that. 
Yes, cities only require 25% more to grow as opposed to 50% more to grow. Yep. And some other stuff, but that's the biggest one for sure. All right, let's go. Revolution. That's our capital again. Let's check buildings. Yeah, I guess I should just get all these things. Sure, it won't take long. Right, shift. Yeah, it will only take two turns, not a big deal. Uh, that's basically all of the buildings, that's it. No other buildings I can get in here, other than like wonders. With that said, there are quite a few now. I could consider some of them, but there is a limit. Group wonder of ancient ways, one left. Okay, so I can only have one from this group. Interesting. So, builds various types of Yonis 20% faster, okay? Free bonfire in every city. Plus 15% military production. Yeah, I'll think about it. Uh, okay, that's another city. Let's grab a worker here. Yeah, every city needs at least one worker, I guess. And there's the settler. So we're going to send him here. That's the plan. Again, that city will have a few tiles overlapping with other cities, but I think it's still worth starting it over here. We're also about to get a great general, I think. Right here. And a great merchant. Alright, worker again, one more worker. That's fine. Yeah, this is a great general. Also great hunter. And this is, yeah, currently great merchant. 84%. Great doctor, 7%. Do we even know what a doctor is? I don't know. A prehistoric doctor. Well, an ancient one now. We're no longer in prehistoric era. There's our worker. So, I guess back to buildings. Yep, back to buildings. Let's get a little bit of production. Okay, that's two turns. One turn, one turn. Alright. Good enough? Yeah, that's the worker. Let's just keep buildings. Alright, there you go. So, let's see. Uh, let's grab a forest worker. And what's this? A papaya. Yep, we will improve that. Fruit gathering camp. Or fruit picking camp. Wait, what? Okay. Plus one health requires fruit picking camp. Plus two gold requires fruit gathering camp. Okay, so we have an actual choice. Interesting. Interesting. So, this guy... I think this is already improved. No, it's not. Requires pasture. Okay, let's grab that then. I guess I could also automate the workers. Maybe like one or two of them. But not yet. I assume there's an option to do that here. There probably is. There should be. Yeah, build improvements automated. Maybe not yet though. Not yet. So, let's see. I could improve this tile. It might not do much, but it might as well build something useful over there. Our capital doesn't have that many useful tiles. Alright, we got ourselves another worker. So, back to buildings. I might just go down the list at some point, to be honest. Once we get the decent production going, yeah, these buildings are really quick to build. Yeah, you can see. It's all one turn. And well, in many cases, it's multiple buildings in one turn. So, yeah. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. That's fine. So, that's another worker. Yeah, let's grab a forest worker. And what do we improve? Plant the gathering camp. Need work. Okay, wait, what do you mean, need work? 
Not sure what exactly that means, but okay. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, plant the gathering camp. Does that mean I need a building? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, we're not working this tile. Is that what it means? Yeah, okay, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. With well, that said, the elephant has much better yields, so, you know, we'll wait until we get extra population here. Let's connect the melons. Is there a road here? Uh, that's a pretty big toll tip. Yes, there is a road here, okay. I can't quite, like, see it, but it's listed there, trail. Let's get the melons. And this fella. Yeah, we can get the parrots, I assume. Yep, that's mostly happiness, but also gold. Yeah, let's grab that. A trail over here, yep. What's this? Wait. What? Archer? Wait, wait. Oh, these are barbarians. Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are like barbarians. I'm going to need the actual proper units to deal with this. Yeah, okay, I need the actual proper units to deal with this. And that's a tiny little bit unexpected. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty obvious these are barbarians. We need uh, something. What's the strongest unit we can currently get? None of this is really important. We do have some decent units at this point. Yeah, we have Stone Macemen 4.0, Stone Axemen, Stone Spearmen. Oh, wait, I actually have a unit right here, Atlantis. He can maybe handle this. Only 14% chance of survival. Wow, okay. I guess I'm going to need more than one, eh? Apparently so. Rogue. Okay. I don't think that will do me much good in this situation. Yeah, this is kind of a spy unit. 4.0 is the best I got right now. We can unlock something better pretty soon, but we're not quite there yet. So I'm just going to grab, well, one of these guys. 10 experience, 10 experience. Okay, well, let's get ourselves a stone mace man, I guess. Maybe more than one. We can get several. Okay, let's not go overboard, but I need a few. The settler will have to chill in the back for now. Okay, what can we build here? Probably not much. We can build a cottage. We currently have a seed camp, which is like the most basic possible improvement from the prehistoric era. So that's not particularly helpful. I guess I'll just build a cottage. Minus one food, plus two gold. Costs 20 gold. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Might as well just build that. Not a big deal. Just in case we'll have to squeeze a little bit of extra gold. Okay. There's the maceman. I think I'll just grab combat. There are so many promotions, though. There's the woodsman. Well, woodsman might actually be useful here, because this is a forest. So, well, it's a jungle, technically. But I assume woodsman works. Yeah, it does. So I could pick up woodsman. I could just pick up combat straight up. So that's an option. Armed guard. That's mostly for defense. Okay, let's actually pick up Woodsman here. Woodsman 2 and Woodsman 3. Let's see. Wow, only 22.18% chance? Really? Yes, really. Well, that's why I got several, I guess. Yeah. Well, I mean, I could rush one of... No, that's not what I wanted to do. I was gonna say, I can rush one of the techs that will give me actual units, like archery. That would give me an actual archer. But I really want sailing just as quickly as possible. 
what were we researching just now? Uh, right here. Let's finish that and then we can decide. It'll be done on the next turn. Yeah, here's an actual animal. So go grab that. Move away from it though. At least that archer is not really moving towards me. And hey, there's technically a chance our Atlantis will kill him. I wouldn't exactly count on that happening, but there's a chance. Okay, so we need a pasture, nomadic herd, or scavenging camp. Right, wait. Yeah, pasture would be best. Plus five food with pasture. And plus one health, and it requires a pasture to connect uh, the pig itself. Wait, where's the pasture? Oh, it's right here. Requires bronze working. Oh, because I can't remove the forest without the bronze working. I think we should wait then. Let's actually just wait to get that. That seems reasonable. Yep. Okay. So grab a trail. Get the melons. What do we need for that? Farm. Can we build a farm? Same problem, isn't it? Yeah, we need the bronze working. So I'll have to rush bronze working. I might actually get that first. Because growing our cities is just as important, if not more important, than exploring a little bit faster or a little bit slower. So let's take a look then. Where's bronze working? And can we get it right away? I'm gonna guess probably not. Where is it? I don't even see it. It should be like around here and pretty early on, but this is caveman to cosmos. So it might not be. Wait, where is bronze working? I'm actually not seeing it. Pottery, consciousness, folk music, folk dance. Fungi culture, mining. I'm actually not seeing it. It might be later on. I see lead working now. It's gonna be later on, I think. Yeah, I have a feeling it's gonna be later on. Oh, it's right here. Okay, so it's not going to be anytime soon, okay? It's not going to be anytime soon. It's in fact towards the end of Ancient Era. Like this here is the end of the Ancient Era and the start of Classical Era. It's closer to the end of it. So yeah, there's no point rushing it right now because it will take too long. We should just continue with our original plan and get sailing. I'm just considering getting archery really quick, but apparently I need some other tags to get archery. Okay, I'm not sure what tags we're talking about. Heat treatment and obsidian weapons. You know what, let's actually grab that. Obsidian weapons will unlock some better yonis with 5 base strength. We can actually grab that, I certainly don't mind. Alright, let's just queue up all of this stuff. Right here. That's another stone mace man. So on this guy, I'm just going to get straight up combat. There, combat free. I'll still send him. But hopefully I won't need like a whole army to deal with one archer. That would be slightly awkward. Alright, well we finished that cottage. I guess we're going east now. And the settler will have to wait. Man, why did it have to spawn on the exact tile that I wanted to settle? That is literally the exact tile that I wanted to settle. Also, since we will not be getting a farm anytime soon on uh, these jungle tiles, because I need bronze working, we might as well get the seed camp. You know, to actually connect the melon. Yeah. I think I'll just get the seed camp. It makes sense. Jungle camp. Well, the thing is, jungle camp will not connect the melons. Yeah. Alright, let's just get the seed camp. It will provide melons. But the jungle camp will not.
So seat company is then. As for this fella, right, this style is already improved. Let's check the yields really quick. I mean, not super impressive yields, and I know it's outside of the border, but not for long. So I can't connect the pig, can I? Well, I kind of can, just again, not with a pasture, but I can. So let's see. Yeah, let's improve this. Yeah, we can get the much better yields on this one. Lumberjack, plus three production, plus one gold. Yeah, let's just get Django Camp. Eventually we will discover something with the Django Camp, hopefully. 6% chance. Well, it's lower now because I'm not flanking it anymore. But we have a few more military units coming in. It's kind of weird it's not attacking anyone. Maybe it's a non-aggressive barbarian, I don't know. Adam Smith, isn't it a little bit too early for that? <laughs> Bro, this is not the 18th century. This is 206... No, this is 7697 BC. So yeah, we're nowhere close to the 18th century, but all right. All right. He was really ahead of his time. Oh yeah, now he's moving. Yeah, only 8% chance. I'm gonna lose if I attack. I'm definitely gonna lose if I attack. Okay, let's move away because I don't want to lose my other stuff. Uh, definitely not the settler. Okay. Yeah, I'm actually going to need obsidian weapons here. Where's that other dude? Right here, it's not Maceman. Let's just bring all of these guys. I have a feeling I'm actually going to need them. Certainly looks that way. Yes, it does. It really does. Well, there's Adam Smith. So, join city as the great merchant. Plus one food, plus six gold, plus two experience to trader type units trained in this city. So I could join him in another city, but I think I'm fine with the capital here. So let's do that. Uh, can we run 100 now? Yes, so let's run 100. As for the worker. Right, so we can connect the pig. Can we though? Actually, no, we cannot connect the pig. We actually cannot connect the pig. I can't get any of the improvements that will be required to connect it. Right, let's improve something else then. Can we get this papaya? I think we can, right? I'm losing track. I'm surprised he didn't attack my Atlantis here. He obviously would have killed him. Not that I'm complaining. <laughs> but yeah. An epic battle against a single barbarian. It's a little bit unlucky because he spawned right after I entered the Ancient Era. So this is like an Ancient Era unit, an archer. It was a little bit unlucky. Anyway, now we unlocked a slight improvement to our units. A wild Herbs Gatherer, okay. Just grab some more buildings. Any non-military unit needs to stay back. So stay the heck back. Uh, okay, I can't upgrade this dude because there would have been an arrow. Well, he's a mace man, so I guess that's fair. You can't upgrade this guy either. Hopefully they can handle this. Surely they can handle this. They can handle one archer, damn it. Yeah, I'm waiting for the others to arrive before I attack. So we need a fruit picking camp or fruit gathering camp. Yep. Let's grab that then. Just checking the alternatives. Okay, fruit picking camp. There you go. Uh, as for the worker. So what do we have here? Desert camp. Yeah, this is desert. It's not entirely obvious that this is desert, but I guess it is. Yeah, we got pasture here. Most of my tiles near the capital are actually already improved. So that's good. 
we can grab a farm here now because that doesn't need to be cleared so there's the seed camp we want to keep it that way yeah we can grab a farm or cottage yeah that's not really important that's mostly gold our gold situation right now is fine Kahokia will grow to size 8 on the next turn. I feel like that's decent, but I have no real frame of reference. Okay, so let's see. Which city is that? Right, let's just get some of these. Oh, that's a great improvement right there. That's a very, very good improvement. Yeah, let's just build that. I queue up a few cheap things. Okay, so let's see, yeah we got the fruit picking camp, uh, grab the trail, this should be the farm right? No? What the heck? Very tall grass, muddy. Oh okay, fair enough. Seed camp. Oh, becomes a farm in five turns. Okay, yeah, sure, that works. That works. Let's go deal with that stupid archer. I'm definitely going to lose a bunch of Yonis in the process. But it is what it is. As long as we kill him, alright? Because I want to settle my city. Then again, I can probably settle it now if I go around. Yup. And that will be our last city on this island because there isn't really enough space for more. Right. Let's see now. Yeah, let's just improve these. Oh, yep, another animal. We'll get there. Most of these are not aggressive. Go on. Yeah, yeah, enemy has been spotted. I know. Alright, they just build these things. What's our chance now? <laughs> it's actually even lower right now. 2.45%? Are you serious? Wow, I'm actually not going to kill it. I actually can't kill it. Straight up. That's crazy. Yeah, here I'm crossing the river, so that's not helping. Is this a hill? Yeah, it is. Man. Maybe I will kill it if I attack with everything, but I don't know, man. 440 versus 640. Yeah, this is going to be problematic. One single barbarian is causing so many problems. That's crazy. Wait, what can I build here? A hunting camp? Oh yeah, okay, right, hunting camp. Fair enough. I might just automate these workers. <laughs> That's gonna be faster. And that is gonna be way, way faster. Send the hunters to actually do something more useful here. Can we settle yet? Thank you. So I guess we'll just attack him. And maybe on the next turn. And like, maybe after I move... Where's the automation? Right here. Okay, so let's automate one or two of them. We'll see how that goes. Jungle camp. Right, let's not attack across the river when we don't have to. Ideally. The cobra has withdrawn. I'm surprised he hasn't attacked yet. A fire has destroyed a building in the city. Okay. 10% chance for another building to be destroyed? No, I'll pay. Fine, I'll pay. It's not a big deal. Okay, that's the only building I can actually get here. This is my capital. It literally has everything else. So we, so we can get some units. What's that 5 strength unit we had? Train the dogs, 4 strength. That's some really strong dog. Yeah, better than like half of my units. 
Where's the 5.0 guy? Or did he have other requirements? Okay, I think he had other requirements. I would have to check. Yeah, clearly. There were other requirements. Because he's not listed here. This unit can enter territories you have the right of passage or open borders agreement with. Ignore terrain movement costs. Upkeep one gold. Yeah, not sure about that. Not sure about that. So, if I don't want to get the units, I guess we could just run a research here, conversion. It's not some huge amount, but I might actually run that for a little bit. Because I don't necessarily want to spam too many units. We're not being threatened by anything other than barbarians, and they do cost maintenance. Yes, yeah, 6%. I just have to do it. I think I just have to do it. It is what it is. I'm not happy about it. But if I just stand there, that's not going to help. So we just have to do it. Hey, they volunteered for this, okay? Scout. Yeah, just sentry this guy. Or fortify. And settle this stupid city. Would be funny if the barbarian attacked the city after I settle it. Yeah. Wait, 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 what? What was that? Agreed, the doctor has been born in faraway land. Yeah, I'm not sure what that sound was. It sounded like something bad. I need to check. Wait, did he just kill my settler? What on earth? So he completely ignored all of my other Yonis, but the moment I moved in with a settler, he killed a settler? Are you actually kidding me? Bro, are you actually kidding me? At least now I have a better chance to kill him. Yeah. Are you actually kidding me, bro? I suppose it's not the end of the world because I'll get another one. But I got the shoulder pretty hard there. It is kind of my fault for leaving the settler unprotected, but... Yeah, man, he completely ignored all my other units. Despite the fact they were significantly weaker. Alright, alright, fine, we will get another settler, alright? It's fine. Our city doesn't have anything better to do anyway. Alright, let's just automate these workers. There you go. Okay, great hunter. Good to know. What can we do with that? Join city. I don't really need another master hunter. Maybe once we're able to embark. But I think it'll take a while before I'm able to embark with actual regular units. I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon. So let's just join the city. That's fine. It's always more food. Faster growth. All that good stuff. Seriously though, I'm getting trolled hard by this one single barbarian unit. There's archery. Okay. Now we can shoot him in the knee with an arrow. Let's check our options now. Well, I haven't changed my plans, really. I still want sailing ASAP. So let's get sailing ASAP, and then we can get a galley. Yup. Alright, let's go. Yeah, this does enable movement on the coast, the deep coast, freshwater sea. Okay, does it allow our units to embark? Enables amphibious. Okay. Okay, valid for, like, all these units. Right. Yeah, well, obviously, again, we want sailing as soon as possible. Let's kill this stupid archer. There, he dead. Man. He caused so much trouble. It's crazy. Automated hunters. So now our priority is to find the other landmasses and uh, settle at least one city over there. 
to have some kind of base of operations outside of our starting island. That is the goal for the nearest future. Hopefully that won't take too long. Alright, let's just go down this list to be honest. For now. You guys heal up. Hey, they can protect this city once it's settled. And the others can stay in other cities. Just spread them out a little bit. And the worker got a promotion, that's fine, but I'll keep them automated. In before another barbarian spawns, right as I get there. That wouldn't really surprise me. I guess I should also connect my cities with roads. Although that might not really be necessary. But it will be helpful for movement. Okay, let's see. Yeah, let's just get the buildings. Uh, how about some signs? Yeah, let's get the scientific buildings. Some production. And some food. Yeah, that will not take long. More animals. Alright then, we got 1000 gold. That's not too bad. I do hope we'll be able to find some other landmass. Alright. Yeah, but at this point we might as well wait for the galley, because we are literally almost there. I'm definitely just gonna wait for the galley now. And this will be the last city we'll be starting here. Maybe the galley will also be able to kill some of these, like sharks and things like that. Because the raft certainly couldn't, it was too weak. They're sailing in five turns. So we are almost there. Alright, worker. Yep, keep automating them. And you guys will just protect the cities. Uh, however, I think that's going to be the end of this episode. So thanks for watching all the way to the end. I appreciate it. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time.